Riddles for kids. For kindergartners, Jay. For preschoolers? Yeah, these are for little, little kids, okay? Tiny kids, little, little, tiny, little, you know? So if we get these wrong, what does that make us? That makes us very, just, it, it, we should, you know? A famous chemist was found dead in his office. This is for kids. For kids, guys. Dead for kids. <laughs> the detective knew that he was killed the night before. Ooh, he's holding a trophy too and everything. And there were only three people there at the time. Sarah, the cleaning lady. Agatha, a PhD student, very smart. And Oliver, a lab assistant. The detective noticed lots of gold and trophies on the shelf and then found out that the chemist was holding the only silver trophy. He immediately realized who killed the scientist. Interesting. So Agatha mm -hmm. is a PhD student, right? She is. Sarah is what? A cleaning lady. And Oliver is? A toilet cleaner. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> you lie. Listen, listen, at first glance, okay? Because this is for kids, right? It's gotta be a little easy. He was holding silver, the chemical AG silver, Agatha. It was Agatha. Boom. It's boom. just a boom, boom. It's a boom, boom, boom. Boom. I mean, what a smart guy, you know? He's getting killed by Agatha, and he's like, I gotta get something that reminds people of her. Boom, grabbing the silver trophy, Agatha. The chemist hinted at the killer's name. Oh, and silver is written as AG in the periodic table. Listen, usually you think before you think, okay? Today, you're not doing that. These are for kids, right? The answer is gonna be- Kids can solve this? Yeah, yeah, the answer's right in front of you. You just gotta pay attention. If that table wasn't there, nobody would have figured that out. True. <laughs> but in every chemistry lab, there is always a periodic table. I know, but like, if that wasn't there for that specific riddle, everybody would just be like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> uh, The PhD student, because she's smart, I don't know. I feel like that's you, Cassie. No! Which one, me? Right here? No, the guy in the green. Oh, really? Egging the, okay. egging the dude in the red on. Yeah, <laughs> punch Yeah, well, him. if this is me, this is you. No, I'm yellow all day. I'm like, ow! <laughs> don't take my lunch money! <laughs> Johnny and Peter were Famous school bullies. They're famous, okay? <laughs> They're famous for being school bullies. Wow. They picked on everyone, beat boys up, and stole money from girls. Oh, these guys are just awful. One day, though, it went too far. They accidentally killed a boy named Ron. As they really didn't know what they were doing, the court let them Wait. go back to school? Kids. Kids doing these riddles or watching these riddles? No! Oh no, they're dead! <laughs> <laughs> but soon they were found dead. The police questioned everyone who were in the school at the time. The guard, wait, did adults kill these bullies? <laughs> I guess, let's see what the guard had to say. I was sleeping, I don't see anything. That's a guy who takes his job seriously, everybody. I came down to the hall to check the guard, as I usually do at this time. Trying to do some smoke puffs. I came down to meet the first graders. Oh. Wait, are they in high school? No, no. No, this is elementary. Oh. This is some elementary. Famous school bullies in elementary? Damn. Yeah, Damn. yeah, 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 notorious. All right. Who killed John and Peter? The sleeping guard, the principal checking on the guard or the teacher uh, checking on the first graders. I think it was the teacher because the police questioned everybody who was in the school at the time. So there were no first yeah. graders. And look how nervous she's looking. She did it. Oh. Wait, no, but she was checking on them before those two kids died, right? But th this is supposed to be everyone who was in the school at the time. Oh. Yeah, so it was the teacher. So she was checking on nobody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, she was, she was checking one. on someone. <gasps> wait, what? Whoa! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, we are failing wait, wait, the kinder. Wait, 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 wait. We are failing this test for kids. We could have just wait, looked. What do you mean, obviously? Just because it, people have same hair color, it don't mean anything. <laughs> he couldn't be sleeping. It was him. Because he's the relative to Ron. As the principal always checked on him at that time, he couldn't have been sleeping. He got his revenge. Oh. Wait, he got a sweet, sweet revenge! Did Ron bully his older <laughs> man cousin too? Laura dreamed of meeting her soulmate, Anarchy! But ignore that and created an account. What uh, dating website is she, she going on, Cassie? A <laughs> website? She signed up for a dating website. Doing my best John Connery. <laughs> Soon, she got interested in three men. Ooh, Patrick, 21. I play in a band and write songs. I love snakes. So Patrick seemed to be really impressive. Yes, 
Yeah, he plays in a band and he writes songs and he likes snakes. What more to like? Ooh, Freddy, 19. We enjoy being healthy. We go jogging every morning. Okay, why does he keep saying we? Who's we? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. And wait, why is yeah, there blood? <laughs> why is there blood on his teddy bear? Oh, no, Freddy! No, Freddy! You can't take a better picture, Freddy. And Ron, I love hunting in the guns. And I can cook the best barbecue. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. What, bear barbecue? Deer barbecue? Yeah, I'll kill you! Make some beer steaks after. But soon, Laura began to suspect one of them of being a maniac. I'm a maniac. Sometimes I get a little crazy. Besides Jay, who is the maniac? I think it's middle douchebag. Yeah, because he keeps saying we and it's freaking me out. Inside of his head, he's like, we love to run. We love to do this. Join our cult. We want you here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I don't like the way he looks. Because hunting, you know, with all those weapons, completely normal. Patrick, he's in a band. He likes snakes. Nothing wrong with liking a little snake or two. Freddy, though. Freddy speaking in third person, kind of. Freddy. Why does he refer to himself in the plural? In the plural, Cassie. <laughs> is it blood? Is it blood? Well, I mean, if he's having that in his profile picture, I think he's trying to make something obvious. Yeah, I mean, if you pick him, then you're kind of asking for it. Mr. Hole was a very rich widower. He had three relatives who lived in his house. Well, I guess we can all agree that he was the most successful out of all of them. One day, Mr. Hole found a message written on his calendar. You see that? He is gonna kill ya! Who is going to kill Mr. Hole? Does his first name start with an A? I gotta know. Oh my goodness, Jay. <laughs> 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 okay, so is it Stan, the stepbrother? Like, he's got an eye patch. He looks kind of sad. He's got an underbite going on. Ralph looks pretty crazy, too. Oh, he's a mad son. And Fred is a jealous cousin. Come on, you can't be a cousin to be a jealous cousin. That's not right. Okay, a kid could figure this out. So, Jay, please tell me, why is the three circled, and then it jumps to the eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve? First, I was thinking maybe the letters are related to the alphabet, because that's what I always do whenever I see numbers circled, I always <laughs> Three is C, and then eight is whatever the eighth letter of the alphabet is, A, B, C, D, E, F, But there's G, no H. C guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just thinking it, Casty. Calm down. I don't have all the answers right off the bat. So that's what I think whenever I see numbers circled, but I have no clue. How many numbers are circled? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody has four letters to their name. Interesting. Interesting. All we know about this man is he's a rich widower and these three freaks live with him. Okay, maybe the numbers are throwing us off. Who is going to kill Mr. Hole? Who's gonna fill that hole? Who's gonna fill the hole? Is it Ralph? Ralph looks like he doesn't have much to give to fill that hole, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's... Okay, <laughs> good point, good point. You know what? What? Kids can figure this out, really? Yeah. Can we get a kid in here right now, have him figure it out? I wanna test that out. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably so easy. We get a little pipsqueak kid in here right now. I bet you kids are watching this right now laughing at us and shaking their heads like, are you serious you haven't figured this out yet? Hey, what if it's Stan? Did you ever think about that? Sell me on why it would be Stan. Because Stan is the stepbrother, and if you look at these numbers, it looks like that. What? I, I, I'm just making. I'm, I was hoping oh. you'd see something. <laughs> <laughs> look at it upside down. Does it look like anything? Looks like a like. Now that I think about it, it looks like a huge dong. It really does. And who is the biggest like, dong here? Fred. Yeah, like who's the most hung? Yeah, the jealous cousin. No, if he's jealous. Nah, he's jealous for some reason, so he doesn't- he definitely doesn't have the huge dong. Okay, so it's gotta be the stepbrother. Why can't the mad son have it? But he just doesn't know how to use it, you know? Exactly, so it's gotta be the stepbrother. Th okay, this okay. is for kids, this looks like a dong. It's the stepbrother. Yeah. See, kids, they could see that and be like, dong, stepbrother. <laughs> yeah, I okay, that's what we're, it is. we're going with it, we're going with it. Stan, come, come on, on, Stan! Give me that dong, Stan! The circle numbers mean the month. March, April- Oh! oh! Ouch. Oh, oh, Jay, that is really easy. And we got it wrong. Okay, well, you know what? I think our dong theory was quite good. And it's what a kid would say. I love the dong theory. I love the dong theory. I, I love dongs. On Monday afternoon, a math teacher was found dead in the classroom. He was found dead! He was killed on the lunch break. And police suspect that the killer is one of the students who killed the teacher. Wait, what? That happened way too fast. All these people just came in the room. I have no idea what's going on. I'm getting overwhelmed. 
Okay, does anybody look different? Does anybody have blood, like, on the chin or something? Does anybody look like... Oh, I think I know who it is. What? What? Okay, th think about is it. Is somebody think holding, like, a gun? No, no, no. Just think about it. It's wait, 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 wait. What is the teacher holding? <gasps> oh, it's the guy with the... <laughs> with the tie with no shirt underneath! Oh. Oh, I was totally wrong. Okay, so I was like, all right, it's lunch break, right? Nobody puts their backpack yeah. on during lunch. Oh my goodness, you're thinking too deep. You're going balls deep in this. Okay, you're right. Yeah, this Chippendale did it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he just has like a nice neck tan. Yeah, nice neck tan. But there is no shirt under there. That's all pepperoni nipple under that. <laughs> Extra large pepperonis. Why would he even go in there acting surprised and then that's his shirt? <laughs> yeah, I would flee the scene <laughs> if it was me. The teacher grabbed his shirt and ripped it. He had to get rid of his shirt? Wait, why? Okay. He had to get rid of it because <laughs> it's summertime, you know? He just gotta True. find an excuse to not have the shirt on. Twas a Sunday morning. The streets were almost empty, except for this weird guy hanging out of his taxi. Only a few cars were passing by. Sean was going home from his night shift. <laughs> Suddenly he saw a dead man in the taxi. Sorry about that, Sean. Sean called the police. Why is Sean smiling? Was like so smug. Because he's the killer, watch. He's the killer. I am tapping in to the kid that's, you know, the kid version of me, and I'm already figuring this out. The detective examined the body and found out that the man was a taxi driver named Frank. I mean, that's so relevant. He was killed an hour ago. The detective found Frank's last clients and questioned them. The weather was so nice that I canceled the taxi. Dan. Another taxi driver arrived first and I went with him. And Flora. There was a terrible traffic jam. Okay. It was her. Cassie, it was her. Oh, so I decided to take the subway. I didn't even It was a it. Sunday. There was no cars, Cassie. There was no cars. Oh! It was a Sunday. There were no cars. Oh, yeah. It Flora, Flora. Flora. You dirty, dirty dog. Liar. Liar. She's a liar. I can smell it on her. Oh, it stinks. They want us to not trust Dan with that face, but oh, it was Flora. She's keeping it I cool. didn't trust Steve. I want to apologize to Steve. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Steve. It was Sunday morning and the roads were empty. She lie. She's so liar. Dave and Stan, they're chilling, all right? They're having a rest on the beach. Dave doesn't look like he's resting. Dave played volleyball and then went to the bar to have some drink. <laughs> Soon after Dave tried his cocktail, he felt sick and lost consciousness. Hopefully he doesn't get a sunburn. Stan called 911. Oh, he cares about his friend. What a responsible friend. Good for you, Stan. Dave was immediately taken to the hospital. The policeman started questioning the suspects. He drank a cocktail from this bar and felt sick. I think the barman poisoned him. No, well, why, why would I do that? Dave played volleyball before coming here and won the game. Perhaps. His opponent decided to get revenge. Well, I'm Ron the opponent, and we finished the game, and I went to swim in the sea, as people do. Who poisoned Dave? So Stan is blaming the barman. The barman is blaming the opponent, and the opponent's like, oh, I went for a swim. So he's not blaming anybody. Stan blames barman. Barman blames opponent. Ron goes for a swim. Did it say anything about the water? You know, you can't go in the water or anything like that? No, right? No. Like, there wasn't a no swimming sign or... I don't know. We should trust Stan because he's the friend and he did the right thing. No, 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 no. Sometimes people like that are the biggest suspects. No, it has to be obvious this is for kids. No, but Cassie, come on. We all know a Stan, you know? If he could get away with poisoning you, he would. So he did everything right. He saw the barman pour him a drink. Maybe he slipped a little poison in there. Called 911 like a friend is expected to do. And he's going to get away with it because he thinks he's smarter than everybody. But kids doing these riddles know that it's Dan. Here's what I don't get. In this picture, the barman is circled. In this picture, the opponent is circled. And in this picture, they want us to pay attention to this, this number here. That's either the time or the score. If we're assuming that's the score, then it looks like Ron was winning. Oh! <gasps> Didn't somebody say, like, he beat Ron? Didn't the barman oh, so say it's that? Luke then! It was Luke! I trust Stan! Luke, we're right! He lied about oh! Dave's winning to frame Ron! Yes! Let's go, Cassie! Yeah, it's just a little observation and a little pinch of creativity. So you were right about the score. Uh, of course I was. So smart. I'm so smart. So smart. <laughs> the 
police found out that someone was going to kill the mayor. They knew the criminal would attack him at the stadium during an American football game, but they didn't know what he looked like. There were lots of sportsmen at the stadium. <laughs> sportsmen, athletes, right? Suddenly, one of the policemen saw a suspicious man on the field. Who is the killer? Is it the guy holding the soccer ball? <laughs> Yes, I think so. Cause I well, I was gonna say like I, I was gonna say because they're like, playing what? American football, right? But these guys but are why playing are there baseball, baseball players there. But it's gotta be the soccer guy, cause that's just it's like, gotta be him. That's just because weird. he's wearing football pads. I have to say, okay. I agree. You you agree with I me? Agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, American football is played with another kind of ball. Doi. Which student is the killer? Boom, boom. Which one is it? Oh, pff, I think I know who it is. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Like, how did that guy kill him with those, uh... Wait, 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 there's multiple. The guy has bloody drumsticks and the other guy has bloody <laughs> fingers from his guitar. <laughs> well, okay, maybe... No, have you ever played a guitar, though? Like, sometimes your your fingers get real raw. Your fingers bleed like that? Well, not like that, but well, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt I here. I think they're making it obvious that he's a killer because... Come on, who's gonna keep playing the guitar when their fingers are all bloodied up like that? I think it's both of them. No, no, the I think it's the drummer. I think this guy... Player. This guy's just doing some, like, he's just... He's playing out of his mind, okay? And the drummer, <laughs> you can only get bloody sticks like that if you hurt someone. He's committed. <laughs> no, no, no. Can not comments, not comments, not comments, not comments. Watch, watch me. Wait. Uh, <gasps> what? The case is too big for the violin. She's hiding oh, something in there. Oh, it's a cello case and she's playing a violin. Duh. Oh my goodness. Cassie, kids can figure this out. And I feel like we got the majority of them wrong. What does that say about us? That says that we are not smart and we should uh, die. Whoa, Cassie, chill. We just got some riddles wrong. We don't. We don't gotta do all that. Oh, okay. Who you will know die what? First? No, 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 no. We're not. Why? We're not. Okay, Jay. Who's gonna die first? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the werewolf's pretty strong. The vampire guy looks so scared right now. So I feel like he's about to get rope burned on those hands, and he's, I think he's about to die first. Oh, no, the vampire's gonna turn into a bat and fly away, all right? This then why is he even noivish? Why does he look so noivish? Because he's just trying to, he's trying to be supportive of the... Wait, he... Ah, oh, he can turn into a bat and fly away. Forget this guy, man. Ah! Cheat codes. Wait, what the frick is this? Why is it always pregnant women in imminent danger? Who will die first? There's a tidal wave or burning. Do you have any idea? No, oh. don't do that to me. Okay, Jay, I can't. I'm I'm dying here. I'm dying here. Let's go. Let's go now. Oh, oh. we're going to my yeah. channel. Yeah, bring the, bring the Lay's potato chips. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wasn't 